What is up guys? Welcome back to another live in the OU tier for Pokebank Gen 7 OU. So we're going to be using a team that my buddy Johnny passed us uh, today. Risepool, if you don't know him, he's our week 11 opponent in the uh, GPC. He was also... Uh, we met him in the uh, in the NBA and he's been uh, helping us build uh, throughout our entire Pokemon career, I guess you could say. So uh, big shout outs to Johnny for this team. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description down below, of course. Uh, but we're going to be using Aegislash, something I really didn't want to use on the ladder, but uh, it's currently 4.30 a.m. I woke up randomly. I only got like six hours of sleep, not even. Uh, and... Um, I wanted to record something, so I got on here. Uh, just to show you guys real quick, uh, if I open up the ladder, as you can see, we're number 8 on this ladder, so it's not too bad at all. Uh, I'm really enjoying playing Gen 7 so far with uh, the uh, metagame that, that's in place right now. Um, not too many names, though, that we know up here. Uh, I mean, you, I guess you could count, uh, let's see, Cunty Vibes. We know Cunty Vibes. And who else is up here? Uh, oh, Riz. Riz is here. Okay. Cool, awesome. Uh, and other than that, there's nobody that I can um, that I can pick out really quickly. So I mean, it's not too. Uh, you don't see all the the super good competitive players up here uh, just yet, except for myself, of course, because you know I'm amazing. But uh, <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, but like, it's still pretty good to be eighth on the ladder. So we're just gonna get a couple of games here uh, with this team. Try it out. I haven't really oh, overlooked it to. Uh, too in depth, but it does seem to be quiet nature. 252 special attack. Yeah, special attack. Uh, that's nice. Yeah, uh, minus minus speed, but with eight EVs. Hmm. Interesting. Um, <laughs> got King Shield, Shadow Ball, Flash Cannon, Shadow Sneak. I mean, I would take this eight and put it into attack. Honestly, Let's change that. Stop looking for a battle and look for a new one. Um, Duck Trio, Focus Sash with Reversal. Why Aerial Ace? That, that'll never understand. I mean, I understand that you do have a Stealth Rocker in Celebi, but... Yeah, I don't, I don't get Aerial Ace on this thing. Like, what is that hitting? Chestnut? Breloom? Breloom destroys you with a, with a Mach Punch anyway. And, I mean, like, Chestnut... I don't even think Chestnut dies. Maybe with base 100 attack, now it does. Alright, we gotta... Wow. Uh, this guy's got three of the same mons as us. <laughs> okay. Um, Hoopa's looking pretty trappable uh, with Doug Trio. So is Aegis Slash. So is Bisharp. I'm going to have to save Doug Trio a little bit. Um, Lando looking like a little bit of an issue. Not going to lie. Uh, I think my best lead here is probably Tapu Koko. Get up that electric terrain right away. Lando is going to lead off. And uh, I don't have anything to like straight knock this thing out. And Earth Power is a little bit threatening. So... Uh, I think we could probably go Tapu Fini here. Uh, we have decent Spit F, so we should be able to eat up a hit. I also have to change Scald on this thing because it doesn't work in Misty Terrain. Uh, to, like to burn or anything. Uh, he is going to go for the uh, Stealth Rocks. Unfortunately, we are not a Defog variant, so we did just lose our Sash. Um, I don't. Okay, we are Rapid Spin on Feramosa, though. That's not bad. Okay. Alright, that's good. Um, I think we just go for a Scald here, honestly. Yeah, let's fire off a Scald. Who cares? Uh, his Tapu Fini is going to come in. Of course, it can't get burned. Uh, we do have one advantage over this thing, and it's that we're sub-call mined. So if Scald did 11, Moonblast would probably do about 24, 23-ish. Let's go for Substitute. He's going to go for Nature's Madness and Miss. So very unfortunate for my opponent. Uh, we are going to get a sub-up right there, and we're just going to go for a Calm Mind. He's going to crit Moonblast. That's fine. Um, and he does seem to be winning Speed Ties. So I'm just going to go for a Moonblast at this point as he goes for a Taunt. Um, he's meaning that he's probably not speed tied with us at all. And uh, Nature's Mad... I don't even know what Nature's Madness... Uh, like the typing of it. Let me just see. That's Fairy. Okay. Alright, so it does hit everything. I thought it was like Super Fang, so it couldn't hit Ghosts. But it does, in fact, hit everything that it wants to. So we're going to go for another Moonblast right here. Uh, he does connect this Nature's Madness. It's fine. You get off some nice damage on Tapu Fini. Uh, mine's getting weakened really quickly though, which I don't like, uh, and we can't set up a sub either, uh, but I think I just have to go for Moonblast, honestly, as he brings in Hoopa on my Moonblast, okay. Alright, well, uh, I'll take that, uh, he's going to get a special attack drop, and I think I'm gonna go into Tapu Koko, well, no, he's gonna go for a poison move more than likely, um, like Gunk Shot, I could definitely see that coming out here, nothing I can really do about that. Yeah, really nothing I can do. 
Um, wondering if he's life orb. I mean, either way, I don't think we take a gunk shot. We're max physical defense, though. We might be able to. Let's just throw out another moon blast. He's going to go for hyperspace. That's resisted anyway. So we're going to be able to knock out this Hoopa easily. And uh, let's see what he wants to go into now. Lando can probably not knock us out because of the plus one spit F. We're at 444. I very much doubt that. So I'm just going to throw out a Scald. Uh, he does get a crit though. So yet another crit. Beautiful. Um, let's see. We'll get, what can we do here? Why, did it, why does this thing just win? Um... Hmm. I mean, unless it has... U-turn doesn't knock out Celebi, does it? Even Life Orb? If he does have that? Uh, then what do I Baton pass into? Tapu Koko? Uh, is Tapu Koko faster than everything? Yes. No. Yes, yes. But Sucker Punch. Um. Hmm. Age of Slash is looking pretty good, actually, with uh, with a, a baton past weakness policy into it. I just really wish these rocks weren't up, man. Uh, nothing I can do about that. Let's see. How do you play this team, Johnny? Like, what do you do? Alright, we're gonna go into... Um, we're gonna go into Celebi. I've decided that this is my best play. And we're gonna go for Stealth Rocks because I feel like they're necessary. As he's going to go for knockoff, so we're going to get the weakness policy triggered, which is amazing. And I don't even think he knocks us out after the next one. Uh, 49, yeah, he shouldn't knock us out here. I'm going to go for a recover. As he crits us again, amazing. So he just keeps critting. That's that's this guy's game plan, is just crit everything. Um, like, what do you even want me to do to that? There's nothing I can do. Faramosa... Uh, I'm just so disheartened right now. He's crit every single move that he had to. I know it's not as in, in his control, but... Ugh, like... How do I win this game now? Okay. Let me move back here for a second. If only we were weakened this policy age of slash, because we could definitely take an earth power. Then it's mind games with... Uh, with Bisharp. I don't think Bisharp beats Tapu Koko necessarily because it's neutral stab with Iron Head. Yeah, you know what? Let's just go Age of Slash. He shouldn't be able to knock us out with an Earth Power. It's going to do a lot, but I, I don't think he knocks us out. We'll go for Shadow Ball. Unless, of course, he crits again. No, he just straight knocks us out. Okay. All right, I'm wrong about that one. Uh, we'll go into Faramosa here. And I think we're just going to crit high jump kick, honestly. Like, I'm, I'm tired of this. Let me just knock this thing out. If he goes in A, just slash. I mean, like, there's nothing I can do anyway, so. Everything I wanted to do was... <laughs> okay. Anyway. Um, I don't hate the team. I like the team. That Celebi definitely could have worked if he didn't crit the knockoff. I would have just passed that off into... I could have even passed it into Faramosa after he hit me with another knockoff, and then he would have pretty much been done. Um, we have no way to hit A, just slash, but, I mean... Buzzwool. Buzzwool might work. That might be better. I'll look into it. But for right now, if we can crit this high jump kick, we can knock out this Landorus. I'm playing for the uh, for the Tapu Koko sweep, basically. There's nothing else I can do. And um, Faramosa, after Stealth Rocks plus Life Orb plus another Life Orb hit, should go down to Sucker Punch from Doug Trio. That's kind of what I'm banking on. We'll see, though. And uh, all the steel moves are, are neutral on Tapu Koko. It doesn't have the best bulk, but it's not the worst either. I'm pretty sure it can take a hit. He does go into Age of Slash, though, because why not? And uh, we'll just go for U-Turn, I guess. And we'll go out into Doctrio. As he knocks us out with a Shadow Ball, of course. And, uh, I mean, there's there's nothing I could do. <laughs> like, this is this is terrible. Like, there's, there's literally nothing I can do. I can just Thunderbolt here. If he goes into Lando, then so be it. Like, I'm not going to click Dazzling Gleam at this point. I'm so far behind. So, we'll see how much damage we can actually do to this thing. As no, he just goes and sacks off his Tapu Fini. Okay. Uh, in comes Saramosa to Poison Jab me. We'll go for the Dazzling Gleam, but we're going to die anyway. So, that's going to be GG for the first one. We'll move on into the second game. Hopefully, we don't get crit every second turn. That would be amazing. And uh, hopefully, we can get some of our own. 
So I see what kind of people are on the ladder at 4.30 a.m. <laughs> people that get lucky. All right, um, how many battles are actually, wow, more than 100 at 4.30 a.m. That's crazy. All right, so we got a Zygarde. We got no way to counter Zygarde. Zygarde just wins. Um, yeah, seriously, how do we beat Zygarde? Zygarde Perfect wins. There's literally, he built a stall team around Zygarde Perfect. Are people trying not to have fun? That's what I'm trying to understand right now. Are people trying to not have fun right now? Anyway, we're going to lead off with Tapu Fini. Um, I don't know what its HP hits. I, I doubt it's over 400. I don't believe it is. And that means that Chansey always breaks our sub. Which is fantastic. Um, luckily, we trap Chansey with uh, Dugtrio. And I don't think Seismic Toss is a two-hit KO, meaning that he puts us into a reversal range. I don't know if he has status. We'll see. Um... Toxapex can definitely lead off. If that thing leads, I'll probably just hard switch into Doug Trio to try to avoid the Toxic Spike as early as I can. We'll see though. Plus, it covers the Poison Move option in case he has one, but they don't typically run one. Uh, this guy's taken quite a while, so I'm going to start the timer on him, and uh, we'll be right back, guys. All right, so apparently people don't know how to pick leads on Showdown, so we're able to take that win. Get back some points from that crit loss. And uh, we'll jump into another one, guys. And uh, just wanted to show you that that game was was over because my opponent never picked his lead. So I'll pause it and we'll be right back again. I don't know, man. I'm in a pretty bad mood. Like, <laughs> I don't think I should be recording right now. I just woke up. But uh, this guy looks very pheromone so weak. Like, it actually just sweeps him with high jump kick. Straight up. I love that we're life orb, too. We're not choiced. I might just even lead with it, honestly. Um, Dugtrio is a pretty solid lead. Actually, Dugtrio is probably the best lead. It traps literally four Pokemon. Yeah, let's lead off with Dugtrio. As my opponent leads off with Skarmory. Beautiful. The one thing. Um, we'll go out into Tapu Koko here. As he goes for... Stealth Rocks, yep. And we'll go for the... Go for the Volt Switch on his T-Tar. There we go. Love people bringing in T-Tar on fairy types. Uh, and now we go Duck Trio, and we knock this thing out with an Earthquake. We are faster even than Scarf, so he loses his T-Tar as a result. Goodbye. We get a crit, but that did not matter. That, that did not matter <laughs> at all. My opponent's crits two games ago. Those mattered. Uh, <laughs> we'll go into... Uh, We'll go into Celebi on this. It can't really touch us. Let's see, he goes for Moonblast. That doesn't do too much. That's fine. Uh, and we can go for a Giga Drain if we want to. Uh, I'm going to go for Stealth Rocks instead because they put pressure on everything. Jirachi is going to come in as well, which is nice. Um, if he goes for a U-turn, I'm not sure if this knocks us out. So I'm going to play it safe and just go into Aegislash. Aegislash is, uh, is a check to pretty much everything on my opponent's team except for Salazzle. He actually chooses to go for Substitute, which is fine. I can just go for Shadow Ball here. Z Happy Hour. Okay, so he's going to boost all his stats. Great. Uh, Shadow Ball should still be able to take out this sub easily. And we'll just go for another Shadow Ball as he goes for Iron Head. Um, we're able to break through the Para, which is amazing. And uh, the, uh, the Flinch, excuse me, and we'll go for King Shield now. As uh, he does go for an Iron Head, so he lowers his own attack in the process. And now we're going to go for another Shadow Ball. He's going to go for Wish. That's fine. This thing is going down. Goodbye. <laughs> All right. So, Zerka Tree comes in. Uh, this thing is going to catch a Wish, so I'm not playing around. We're just going to go for King Shield. I uh, do not want to mess with this thing. As he goes for Thunderbolt. I don't know if this thing is Specs or what it is, but if it is Specs, then it just gets trapped by Dugtrio and dies. Uh, actually, if it, even if it kills anything, it, it gets trapped by Dugtrio and dies. So, we're just going to go for Shadow Ball. It's going to go for Hidden Power. It's resisted. Uh, and we're going to be able to hit this thing with a Shadow Ball pretty hard. And uh, he forfeits, so that's going to be GG. Let's move on to the next one. I think we're 1462 now, if I saw that correctly. Where does that put us? Uh, about where we were, right? Yeah, 11th actually. We're a little bit lower. But uh, we'll get another game. I believe we can work back some of those points. And uh, I would not mind being first on the ladder. I'm not going to gonna lie. That's some nice water, man. All right, what kind of water is this? Not doing any promo or anything, but hmm. some no-name brand. Yeah, so uh, the team's not bad. It's, it's not amazing, but it's it's not bad at all. I think for Johnny's first team, actually, this was the first team he came up with for uh, 
for Gen 7 OU. It's pretty solid, actually. He saw that the trio had base 100 attack, and he was like, what? I'm using this. <laughs> that was my reaction initially, too. If you guys remember my first team from a couple of lives back, I'll just bring that up for you. Um, where is it? The rain team. This one right here. This this is this is a god squad right here. <laughs> this this can even beat um, Zygarde Perfect because of Kingdra, like it just obliterates it. Uh, speaking of Zygarde Perfect, my opponent has one, so we're gonna have to watch out for that. Tapu Fini can definitely take a plus two thousand arrows, so we don't have to worry too much about it. But Gliscor plus Blissey is definitely annoying. We're gonna lead off with Blissey uh, with uh, Celebi here, because um, it leads off well against everything but the Gliss uh, but uh, the the scissor uh, and we'll be able to get up our stealth rocks right here as my opponent goes for protect to make sure that he gets up his toxic poison i guess uh not a big deal at all we'll just go out into he's not going to earthquake here so what i actually want to do is go into aegislash first uh on the toxic yep it is a toxic stall variant and now he's going to go for earthquake so we're going to switch out into tapu finny gonna get the misty surge i probably should have gone into this directly actually because i can't be status i just thought about that um, and I can go for a Calm Mind right here. He shouldn't want to stay in. If he goes for Toxic, that's going to be hilarious. Uh, he's going to go out into Blissey, which is fine. We do have 310 HP right now. 340, uh, 343 total. Uh, I'm just going to go for Sub. I'm going to see what he wants to do. As he goes for Seismic Toss directly. Okay, cool. Um, I mean, I have an Aegis Slash, but... And a Doug Trio. Uh, that's okay. Uh, 211 HP, which is perfect. We're going to go directly into Doug Trio here gonna trap this immediately he's gonna go for toxic we're in misty terrain that does not work my friend and we're gonna go for earth earthquake right here and uh, if he goes for a seismic toss that's great uh, he's just gonna yep he's gonna go for the seismic toss perfect uh, we're gonna go for an earthquake again and uh, this thing is eventually gonna get crit if he decides to just soft boiled up a bunch of times eventually it'll get crit uh, it takes 38 yep he's fine just gonna keep going for earthquake now uh, actually hold on a second no, it's fine, it's fine. He's gonna go for Toxic, which is okay. I'm just gonna keep going for Quake. Um, actually, hold on a second. He's probably going to Seismic Toss right here, right? Because how much did it do? It did 47.4. We're at 46.4. So I can't go for Reversal necessarily. Um, let's... Hmm. He's gonna go for Seismic Toss. Is Reversal stronger right now? It's base 40 versus base 100. Yeah, no, Earthquake's definitely, str excuse me, stronger. Let's just keep going for EQ. Uh, as he goes for Soft Boiled again. Uh, let's see, I took 12 on that turn. Now I'm going to take 18, so that's going to drop me to 17. Reversal's base power is climbing steadily. We'll go for Reversal here. It's going to do 44 as he goes for another Soft Boiled. And now Reversal's power is 100. It's going to be doing the most right now so it does 52 which is still not a lot as he goes for another soft boiled uh and we're gonna go out into feramosa right now and pretty much get a kill with high jump kick or u-turn so uh, i think his check would probably be gliscor either way i'm going for high jump kick he does go out into gliscor i could have ice beam so i don't know if he's gonna want to test for that but we're gonna go directly out into tapu finny because we don't lose anything his best play is to toxic or protect and then we'll get up a calm mind or, or do something like that uh, he is going to go for the double switch out into Slowbro. Okay, that's fine. I can deal with that. And I'm going to go directly into Feramosa, actually. Because I expect Blissey to come out, and I want that thing to come in on rocks repeatedly. That is going to be the game plan. Let's see what he does. He is going to double out into Blissey. Beautiful. We'll go for the U-turn here. Expecting him to not want to take a high jump kick and go out into Gliscor. As he actually goes on to the slow bro, which works out too, because it's going to be a huge hit. 57% off. Very nice. We do take the life orb damage, but that's okay. And now we'll go out into uh, Aegislash, I think is all right. Uh, he does have a Blissey, though. Yeah, we'll go into Aegislash, and we'll double out into Feramosa again, I think. Uh, yeah, we'll double out into Feramosa again. The worst thing he does is he Psy Shocks and knocks me out. So, we'll live with it. Um... Celebi could be uh, could be the win con here. I'm going to go back into Feramosa on the switch into Zygarde, which is perfectly fine. This I'm okay with. Let's go for the U-turn. As uh, he's probably just going to... I could see Sub coming out here. 
I mean, either way, my play is always to U-turn. As Gliscor comes in on the U-turn, it's going to do a nice 14%. We're going to take another Life Orb hit, which is fine. He does have the Toxic. Um, hmm. I'm going to go out into... I wish I was Weakness Policy Aegislash. Honestly, like, that would just sweep right now, I feel like. But we're going to go out into Tapu Fini outside of the uh, misty terrain and this time we're just gonna go for a surf i've been doubling every single time so i expect him to predict that and actually attack this time around he actually goes for protect which is fine and we're gonna double into Feramosa again because that's literally my only play <laughs> as he's gonna go out into blissey again awesome okay so we keep catching this thing that's good uh, we're just gonna go for u-turn again uh, basically get some uh, some more chip damage off on something if he stays in with blissey That's a terrible play because any high jump kick at any time would be able to knock this thing out He is just gonna go back in a gliss score. We're gonna get off another chunk on that. We're not getting anywhere <laughs> realistically uh, But now the Tapu Fini's in we should be okay As uh, I can go for a calm mind here. Uh, I expect him to either protect or yep. There's the protect we're gonna go for calm mind and we're gonna go for another calm mind and the worst thing that Blissey can do to us is uh, go for a Seismic Toss. Blissey's going to come in. Uh, we're plus two special attack. This Surf is going to start doing a lot. Actually, Moonblast is stronger. Uh, we're going to keep going for Calm Mind, honestly. And uh, he's going to go for Seismic Toss, which is fine. We're not taking too, too much. And we're going to start firing off some Moonblast. We're going to see how much this does. 30%, uh, very nice. Decreases special attack. That doesn't really matter. And uh, we're going to go for another Calm Mind here, I think. Or, no, we're going to go for a Moonblast first. No, these people always recover. I'm going for Calm Mind. As he switches out into Zygarde, actually. We're physically defensive. We're going to be able to take this no problem. And uh, Moonblast should knock this thing out. Easily. Easily <laughs> should take it out. As he's actually going to switch out back into Blissey to take another Moonblast. And we're faster than this thing, so Blissey's essentially dead now. Uh, yeah, we're just going to go for another Moonblast here. He has the Seismic Toss, too, because he can't let me get up a sub. Uh, Scizor can come in, but that thing doesn't want to take a Surf. This is essentially Specs. This is stronger than Specs Hydro Pump from Keldeo right now. That's insane. Um, and we're also... We're slower than Tapu Lele, which is a little bit annoying. Okay. Well, now that Blissey's gone, we can pretty easily go into Age of Slash. We're going to take like 30% from a Specs uh, Psychic. It might even knock out... Actually, it's never going to knock out Tapu Fini. I have plus, plus four right now. Yeah, I'm curious to see how much this is actually going to do. Let's go for the... Um, let's just go for the Surf, I think. No, Moonblast is strong. Let's go for Moonblast. He goes for a Thunderbolt and he crits. Amazing. Okay. All right. Um... <laughs> How are these people this lucky? I don't understand. Uh, okay, anyway. Uh, Age of Slash is in now. And we are going to go for a... Uh, we're going to go for a Shadow Ball. Expecting a switch out into either Slowbro or Gliscor on the Flash Cannon. Even into Scizor would make sense. That just won, man. That honestly just won. And he had to crit me with Thunderbolt. Uh, okay, anyway. Zygarde's gonna come in, it's gonna eat up that Shadow Ball like it's nothing, and we're going to... Uh, I think we have to Shadow Ball again. Yeah, we have to Shadow Ball again, we have to let him go for sub. He's actually gonna Dragon Dance, which is gonna get him to perfect form. We're gonna crit him. Um, Zygarde, perfect. Does that gain health? Yeah, it gains 25, uh, 28%, okay. Alright, that's fine. Uh, I'm gonna go for another Shadow Ball here. He's gonna go for 1000 arrows straight away, okay. That's fine. Um, now I'm gonna go out into... Feramosa outspeeds this. It doesn't kill, that's for sure. But I can go out into it. And we'll go for a U-turn. It's still pretty damn strong, because it's stab. Then I think we just go Celebi, right? And like, I'm not gonna do any damage to this. Look how much that did. That's insane. I'm gonna go out into Celebi. Because I take the Thousand Arrows pretty well. Yeah, that did nothing. Um, the rocks are already up, so I don't need to do that. Yeah, let's just go for Giga Drain. Like, he can go for Dragon Dance, and he's gaining health back with Leftovers, but realistically, he has to lock himself into a Dragon move to knock me out at any given moment. And the second he does, Tapu Koko comes in and revenges him. So, like, he's not really... Realistically, he's not getting anywhere. 
And at any second, I can switch on into Feramosa right here. So, yeah. Uh, just going to go for another Giga Drain. As I think he's just going to go up to plus six. So, we're going to go on into Feramosa this turn. Before he gets there. Uh, actually, hold on. No. We're not faster. What am I talking about? Let me just keep going for Giga Drain. Thousand Arrows is only going to do 36%. So, he's not doing anything to us. Uh, 13,000 Arrows left. We'll go for Recover right here as he goes for Rest. Okay. He's Sleep Talk, right? So, you can hit uh, you can hit Thousand Arrows through Sleep Talk. Oof. That's annoying. Alright. Um, wait, that means he doesn't have anything to hit Celebi. So, all I have to do is... Hope he doesn't hit Thousand Arrows on a, on a Sleep Talk? I think? I mean, I can spam Stealth Rocks here. Uh, as he goes for a final Dragon Dance, we'll go for Stealth Rocks again. And the thing is, if I never hit this, he can never rest. So I can actually PP stall him, I think. So this is going to be a very annoying part of, part of the game, guys. What I'm actually going to do is pause it, and when something actually happens, we'll come back. Alright, so I didn't click uh, play fast enough, but essentially what happened was uh, I forgot to recover on one turn, and he knocked me out with 2,000 arrows at plus 6, so uh, we're going to get one more, because we, you know what, I like these to be a little bit longer. They're the new generation, most uh, amount of content that we can get in one episode, that's the best. You see, if my opponent wouldn't have crit me there on the Thunderbolt on top of Finny, we would have been fine, but only my opponents get essential crits. I get them when they don't matter, so... That's the way the game works, man. That's that's Pokemon for you in a nutshell. You get unlucky for like four days at a time, and then you get lucky for like another eight. So it's like you really can't complain. You really can't complain. Like obviously I'm annoyed by it because that's two times now that I've been lucked out of games, but you can't be angry. You really can't. So my opponent has a Serena and a Zygarde Perfect, so... Very annoying team. Z, uh, Z Belly Drum basically heals you up all the way. Uh, and then uses Belly Drum, so that's another annoying little thing there. We can lead off with Tapu Koko against this guy, though. As he leads off with Charizard, we do outspeed this. He has a ground type, but his ground type is weak to my other stab, so I don't see him going into it. He's actually Charizard X. Okay. Um, so I expect him to attack here. Saying that, I'm going to go out into Tapu Fini. Because we should be able to take any hit. Get the Misty Surge off. He's actually going to go for Dragon Dance and Risk Duck Trio coming in. Okay. Going to go for Moonblast right here. He's going to go for an Earthquake. That's going to do absolutely nothing. And Moonblast is going to be a two-hit KO, of course. Uh, so we are just going to click it again. I don't expect him to have Roost if he has Earthquake. And we are able to knock out the Charizard X. So that would have been a lot easier had I just brought in Doug Trio. But, you know. Gotta let our stuff get weakened sometimes. <laughs> Uh, in comes Serena, very uh, dangerous Pokemon. I can just go into Aegislash on this, though. I'm not fearing this at all. Goes for a U-turn. He can bring in Titar if he wants. Pursuit is going to do absolutely nothing, honestly. Even if he's banded, it's going to do like 60 maximum if I switch out. I could even stay in, honestly, um, on a crunch. He goes into Azumarill, and uh, he's slower than me. So he goes for Belly Drum. And he takes a massive hit. So we're going to go for Shadow Ball. He's actually going to go for Knock Off first. Get rid of our leftovers. We're going to go for Shadow Ball. And uh, I'm not going to King Shield. I'm actually going to Shadow Ball again. Predicting him to go for the uh, Belly Drum. Yep, there it is. And we are going to Shadow Ball this thing into the next dimension. Goodbye, Azumarill. That's, you got to know the meta right now, guys. That's, that's literally all you can do. You got to know the meta. I'm going to King Shield right here on whatever he wants to do. I don't care if he sets up rocks. Let him be. Uh, as he goes for rocks, yep, that's fine. And we'll go for flash cannon now. As he goes for flamethrower, nice, okay, good, good play. Uh, we can go into Celebi now. And if he goes for a flamethrower, he loses, basically. We're gonna go for stealth rocks. Let's see what he does. He obviously doesn't have a dark move. Uh, he goes for ice beam, so he's gonna give us the weakness policy. Hopefully he doesn't freeze us. Man, oh man, oh man. What is going on today? <laughs> thaw, Celebi, please thaw. Come on, man. You've got to be kidding. Okay. I'm going to go into Feramosa. We're going to go for a high jump kick. It's going to get a knockout right here. He's Focus Sash. 
Wonderful. Goes for the flamethrower, knocks out Faramosa. And now we gotta go into Thug Trio. No, we're gonna keep Thug Trio. Man, like I won! Again, I won right there. That's so disheartening. Like I can't even I can't even play properly right now because of that. Like, what do I do? This thing isn't max speed. Get out of here. If you're max speed, like die. Seriously. I'm so upset. I'm so upset. It's every freaking turn. It's every time that I'm about to win. Crit. Freeze. Anything. Anything. I don't even want to put this out right now. Like, that's how annoyed I am right now. Literally, it's every single game. How, how am I supposed to showcase off a team and how good it is when every time I'm about to win, my opponent gets lucky? It's it's impossible. You can't. You, you can't do that. It's just... Do I title this, I get mad? Number 7243. <laughs> oh, man. Sorry, guys. I, I had to laugh that one off. <clears throat> All right. So basically, what, what's going to happen here is uh, Serena is going to come in and, and beat me. Uh, that's that's a given. There's nothing I can do about that. But uh, the good news is Tapu Koko does outspeed this. And I think it does outspeed Zygarde at plus one as well. If he's not max speed. I'm pretty sure. So, we let this go down. He takes a Moonblast in the process. Goes for Trop Kick. That's easily going to take us out. He's Leftovers. Hmm. Okay. So, how do we play this? There's no way Dazzling Gleam takes it out if Moonblast only did that much. They have about the same special attack, right? No, Tapu Koko is a little bit stronger. Plus, it has a Life Orb. Um... But I think the play is still go into Doug Trio and click Aerial Ace. Because we have base 100 attack. So this is super effective. <laughs> That's super effective, guys. That is super effective. Like, why are you even apologizing? That's what I don't understand. It's not your fault. This, this I don't get right here. Like, don't do this, guys. Don't apologize for the way that Showdown is programmed. Because as you can see, there's clearly something faulty with it. Something is wrong. Like, Klefki's going to come in. This thing can't paralyze me or anything, so I'm just going to click T-Bolt. Hopefully, we can get a crit. Goes for light screen. That makes sense. Like, I'm, I'm out of here. All right, so that's going to wrap it up, guys. If you did enjoy me going off on Showdown, uh, <laughs> make sure to hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you guys later. Ciao.